Gotcha! Here again today with some more super cool, fun stuff in the game, Heroes of the Storm. Thanks so much for coming to hang out today, guys. I really do appreciate it. Today we're going to be taking a look at game number one for Mr. Malganis, who has recently entered the Nexus, and I have not played at all. He, well, I have played, sorry. I haven't done any videos on it. I've been moving and getting the internet set up and everything like that. And I happened to move on the wettest and coldest time of, like, the history of my state, which is maybe something to be said there. <laughs> but anyway, so we're going to take a look at my game. So I have played a number of games, and so this is going to be game number one in the Let's Learn series, where I simply like to go through every talent in gameplay action, where we can see what's going on with each one in gameplay. So when it comes around to, hey, what do we pick in certain scenarios, we can recall that information, how we felt it worked in game, and utilize it uh, in those situations. So the first game is going to be all of the first talents. Each tier has one, two, three, typically some have four, um, but typically just three where we'll have first talent at each tier. So there's gonna be three games in the series and then a fourth game where we do a best build, if you will. So without further ado, comments, comments. let's get right into it. One. All right, here we go into Volskaya Foundry. <laughs> where you should only play Zarya. I don't know why, but... <laughs> so we have uh, Malganus riding the tombstone, which we got from the event, which is kind of cool. I think it was actually the last quest in the chain. There are a number of things that Malganus does really well. Um, he reminds me a lot of Uriel, and that sounds really loud, so we're gonna turn that down. Hold that thought. Look at that, Sleepy! Everybody go sleep time. Oh, that's up, crap. <laughs> I was starting to develop. Yeah, we almost got Mal or uh, Chogol. Oh, he barely gets away, and I probably yeah. I thought I almost killed myself there. Crap. You are wise. Okay, so one of the things I've learned about Malgana so far is that he feels a lot like Urel, as I was just mentioning. Uh, when Urel came in, she had a lot of um, she was a little underperforming. She had a lot of good points about her, but nobody really fell in love with her. And then she got buffed. Now, I don't think that Malganus is going to get buffed. <laughs> he actually is doing really well in Nexus right now. Uh, very high win percentage, which sometimes make me a little sad because that means that, of course, the hero is uh, going to be nerfed. And that's okay. That's okay. He'll find his sweet spot eventually. But Urel was one of those heroes when she came out, one of the very few, actually, that it was like, this kind of sucks. This is... Um, this is too weak, too slow, not enough effectiveness, really no damage. And I feel a lot of that with him, but despite his lack of damage, as you can see we're fighting here in the middle lane, Jaina comes in, oh, doing a lot of damage, but not enough, we're gonna back out. Get out of here, Varian. Look at this, sleep attempt. I think people still don't know how that works, so like it's pretty easy to, to sleep them. The Tassadar does get out of it a few times in this game, we'll see. But yeah, so I think his damage, despite being pretty low, he still is very effective. And I haven't quite figured out all the secret sauce with that yet, to be perfectly honest. But um, there are moments when it feels like he is unkillable, which is the current state of Urel. And that's why a lot of people are very frustrated playing against Urel. And so I think that ultimately we'll see that change to where uh, she's probably going to be nerfed and, and take some of that sustain away. I don't know if that'll be true for this guy here, but we'll see. So his Q ability, it's got three charges. Um, you can recast it within, I think it's a second and a half, and you can do so twice. So you cast it, recast it two more times, and it does a lunging attack in front of you and claws the air or the, the enemies in front of you. Like that, bam, 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 boom. And then the third one does a stun, and it's, uh, it's really good. You do have to position every one of them, so it doesn't go in a line. Or anything like that it goes every instance of use of it goes toward the direction you're pointing so right there I went backwards that time so I could make sure I hit that minion there instead of the turret so it's kind of cool the 0.75 second stun is definitely a playmaking potential for this guy uh, so it's really nice that it's there and then his W is necrotic embrace it's only an eight second cooldown. It does an AOE around you and um, hits all the enemies, including heroes and minions, and heals you based on your trait, Vampiric Touch. So Magnus heals for 45% of the damage dealt to enemy heroes and 15% of the damage dealt to non-heroes. And so in a situation like Valskaya, where we're gonna be fighting over these points, point control, you can heal a lot. Hopefully we can see some of that. Now we only have uh, four heroes in this game because Shogal has, uh, of course, two people. But look at this, we're just sitting here, man. No big deal. We're just hitting everybody. Uh, of course, Varian's on the back line killing everybody. 
Look at this, but we're in here against Cho Gaul, no problem so far. I mean, the turret's obviously helping us out. We're gonna have to back out now with, um, what's her name? Morales healing him. There's no way I'm gonna do any, any uh, fatal damage there, that's for sure. The Q also works as an escape, which I use more often than I like to admit. <laughs> you, can, you can use it to get out of stuff. Um, in bad situations, and so like if you're trying to dodge a skill shard or something like that, you can definitely do that. Get out of here, Cho'Gal, this is my house. We're trying to try to knock back the back lane here. We got all three of them slept. Cho'Gal is definitely isolated, but we're not doing any damage to him. And you saw there I used the Q to get out, and then pop my W on the way out, making sure we hit heroes with it to get the max healing, 45% of that damage dealt. So it's, uh, the other big part of your W is it gives you armor. So it's 25% armor, for three seconds and talents can actually up that to 50 percent which i will tell you tell you about in just a moment look at that that was actually a really good heal i got healed by alex Traza as well but that was that was really good healing the task starts just lighting us up man basic attack on top of that that slowing uh effect on the ground we're done here all over alex Traza is dead crap no don't die hit the well something oh no Oh, this is okay. Well, that didn't go well. That didn't go well at all. That's okay. Don't worry. We're going to come back. Chogal will go down. Ooh, but if Chogal goes in there, does he also get to shoot his stuff out still? Let's see. Yeah, he does. Wow. That feels really powerful all of a sudden. We're going to go in, though, because we can do damage to them. I'm pretty sure it counts as a hero. And uh, at what is going on? Asmodan just took every bit of that damage. Holy crap. What did I get myself into? I'm doing nothing to this guy, man. But I'm, I'm very healthy, as you can see there, because we're able to hit heroes. And when you're hitting heroes, you're healing for a lot, a lot. Now, when you see me, I, I keep saying sleepy time, and I think that's actually the thumbnail as well. But sleepy times are E. And you just use your E, and you move. To, it, it reminds me a lot of um, Leoric's Wraithwalk. And you move through enemies and everything. And if you hit them, it slows them for a second and a half, two and a half seconds. Not slows them, sleeps them for two and a half seconds. Now, of course, if they take any damage, they're going to wake up. Uh, we did get a variant kill there, which is good. Like they have damage through our front walls no. on the bottom lane. The fort is down in the middle lane. We got a good sleep here. We got some damage coming out. Morale is dead. Fantastic job by the Lee Ming to secure the kill there as we do push into this Cho'Gal. But it's not going to be enough despite the landing that bomb there. That's okay. Let's not overextend here and just uh, get punished for it. All right, time to mount the comeback, boys. And that's all the talents. That's all the abilities, rather. Uh, so it's 0.75 seconds. Yeah, so there is a bit of a wind-up to your E. Don't, so don't get yourself killed with that. I, I got myself killed a lot learning that. You do get a slight movement speed increase as well as you move through the enemies. Um, it doesn't last as long as you might think. It's, it's two seconds. Um, so you really got to learn to judge that. I definitely misjudge it many times. Alex Strauss brings out the dragon because Varian was owning her. 1v1, of course. Gonna put him to sleep, do some damage, but it's not gonna be enough. Kind of a wasted dragon there. The bottom lane's currently doing pretty good, actually. This double mage combo down here is wrecking the Cho'Gal, but down goes Li Ming instead. Crap! We're too late. We're too late to save her. Jaina got away, though. That's okay. I'm not gonna kill these guys, that's for sure, so I'm just gonna back out a little bit here. So, let's take a look at the first talent, right? We got Wing Guardian. So, each time to Karotic Embrace, that's your W. Um, ooh, sorry, back to this. Each time that it hits an enemy hero, you're gonna gain 50 physical armor against the next enemy hero basic attack. You're familiar with physical armor, you can play Heroes of Storm, of course. And so, physical armor means you're gonna reduce the basic attack damage by 50% um, each time your W hits an enemy hero. Yes, okay, and then if Wing Guard has no charges, Malganus will gain one charge after six seconds. So. You're going to get that every six seconds default, but every time you damage an enemy hero with your W, you're going to get another stack. I don't really see any visual indication for that. Yeah, see, I don't see it there. That's the old, by the way, we're talking to turn into freaking bats. It's called Carrion Swarm. Yeah, Carrion Swarm. Double kill there. Fantastic. Fantastic. Oh, is this it? Yeah, this is it down here. Okay, so we have two currently. So the next two basic attacks are going to be reduced by 50%. That's what that means down there. That's cool. So every six seconds, are we gonna get another stack? Is that how that works? No, if you have no stacks, then you're gonna get one. Does it, how many times does it stack? It doesn't say. Does it? <laughs> it just says each time you're gonna gain 50 armor against the next base stack. I wonder if it like stacks 
forever. I mean, if you're in the middle of attacking heroes, they're going to be hitting you. And so you're going to drop the stacks of the uh, physical armor. So anyway, it's a good talent. I mean, especially if you have heroes on the enemy team doing basic attacks, for example, Varian. Um, this is probably not a very good talent in this particular game because of Tastar's basic attack, but regardless of the enemy comp, we're taking the first talent so we can learn what's going on. Speaking of the first talent, level four. Oh, this is probably a bad idea. Oh no. We lost two here. I am on the back line, 1v3 because pff, I'm a freaking boss. Get out of here. Oh, I'm real dead. <laughs> Dude, I got the healing thing down and I'm doing damage. That means I'm healing quite a bit. We're gonna sleep them and we're gonna die. I don't know what that's, I don't know what I was thinking. That's just death. I just walked straight into death. That was stupid. <laughs> did, you hear, did you hear the voiceover? Death is but a temporary something or other. Yeah, that's right. I'm coming back. Malganis style. All right. So, Fueled by Torment to level 4 at your first tier level 4 is going to be Fueled by Torment. While in the Chronic Embrace, again, W is active. Malganis heals for 19 when damage is taken. And Vampiric Touch converts 15% more hero damage into healing. And so, in the middle of a team fight, your healing is going to go up by 15 additional percent. That puts it at, what, 60 60% of the damage done. Um, and this lasts for three seconds. So while it's active, you're gonna heal for damage taken and more of the damage dealt. So it's just a very good tanking talent. As we do put two enemy heroes to sleep, that means the Tastar cannot get out. However, Shogal did get his ultimate off. I'm on the back line, screw this. We can't just let Mal Morales, if you want to call him Malfurion, Morales heal them all. So we're just gonna go in here. We're gonna carry his sword, baby. Yeah, we got two, we got three. Let's get Varian. No, he's not getting away. He's not. That's right. Quadruple kill as the objective is up means we are absolutely going to get this one. Going to take down this front fort here too in the top lane, which is going to help us secure this objective. Looks like Jaina is over there now as we take out the rest of this fort. Fantastic fight there, man. That was amazing. And that's one of the things I really like about my Ganus because if he's on a hero, especially more than one, he can heal so much that he can kind of stay in that lane, in that back lane, and really uh, cause problems. Now, Morales, of course, doesn't have... Uh, I don't blame Rouse a lot, but she didn't have much as far as self-healing. And then she also has to have charges to be able to heal. I don't exactly know how she works. So it works really well against her is my point. So yeah, that seems like a very, very good tanking talent there at level four. I think that if you're going solo tank for sure, that's gonna be an option, but I can't, I'm anxious to check out the other ones as well. Level seven, we're looking at Black Claws. Fell Claws, which is your Q, three times, you, you know, you boom, boom, boom. Lunge forward, attacking with your claws. Third one stuns him, that a whole bit. Well, after Malganus hits an enemy hero with Fell Claws, his next basic attack deals 45% more damage. I don't know why. <laughs> I mean, okay, so you're going to heal for the damage dealt because of your, your uh, Vampiric Touch. As you do get another kill on Varian, and we're once again on the back line on top of Morales, and she goes down. Down goes Shogal with some very good fancy footwork there by Li Ning getting in place to laser him to death. And they probably made a bad call there to try and come in. And hey, guess what? Found Tassadar. Sleep him! Sleepy time, baby! <laughs> down goes Tassadar for yet another quintuple kill. Team wipe. Mega kill! Whatever they call it. <laughs> all I know is it's freaking good for us because it's at this point in the game, we're just going to go all the way in probably. So this one, eh, I don't know. I'll have to look and see if there's a basic attack build. I'm sure there is. Seems kind of weird to me, though. All right, that brings us to the heroic ability called Carrion Swarm. This is going to be your go-to heroic ability. However, I feel like the other one, Dark Conversion, has its place. So we'll talk about that. Dude, did you see that? I locked down the back line while Varian was still up there. And then I came back and slept Varian after the fact, making sure we could get that kill on Morales. And then almost got it on Varian, but he got out. That's okay. Tastar comes in, but it's going to be too late for the team. I think here we're going to push into this core with a lot of health on our Punisher. Jaina does get the ice block off. The sleep does land for Tassadar to go down, baby. Oh, yeah, down goes Varian, dude. They're just dying now. It's not even funny. Actually, it is funny. Oh, we got him, yes! Alex Strava with the uh, Punisher, or the Tiglov kill. That's amazing. But anyway, Carrion Swarm, so you become invulnerable. Okay, we'll, we'll highlight the rest of these talents on the uh, exit here. But you become invulnerable. And then that's a big part of it to me. There is a bit of a wind up one second. You become invulnerable for um, three seconds. You're going to deal quite a bit of damage per second to all enemies in range. And then the Vampiric Touch is going to heal you for 100% of the Karen Swarm damage to heroes. And so right in the middle of a team fight, 
or as you saw a couple times this game where I did it in escaping heroes, we just uh, healed for so much and they can't touch us during that. And so it's like, you're, it, it's, it's, just too, it's just too good. I mean, I don't know how you'd pick the other one. Um, but I think that the, the one selling point to Dark Conversion is that if you use it at the right time, you can drop a full health uh, Diablo, fully stacked Diablo, down to no health. And so it's extremely good in scenarios like that with high health targets. But I think Carrion Swarm is going to be the absolute go-to for sure. The first talent at level 13 is going to be increased, or excuse me, Deep Sleep, which is going to increase the sleep duration by 0.75 seconds, and its movement speed bonus is going to be up by 10%. So you're going to move 60% now instead of just 50, which means you're going to be able to get into range to sleep them, and when you do, they're going to potentially be asleep for 3.25 seconds. Probably not, but if you're in a coordinate, coordinated situation, maybe you can. At level 16, Plague Bats, the final one that we got to look at this game, the Necrotic Embrace unleashes a wave of bats that deals some damage. It's just a passive damage boost for you every time you use your W, which is only an 8 second cooldown. And so we have a W build going on here, you know what I mean? That's the easy route, I like that. <laughs> the damage, as you can see, is not amazing. It's, it's, it's just really not amazing. But we were out on 21 kills, only died the one time, 48 damage soaked for the team. And, uh, hey, we did more damage than Tastar, so I feel good about that. <laughs> and the, uh, we'll have some other games on the channel. Don't forget to check it out. If you enjoyed it today, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for all the super cool fun stuff. And we'll see you all next time. Peace out.